Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my friend, how are you doing? <clears throat> Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valpa, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Scorpio, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, Scorpio. As well, if you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Scorpio, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this card, this card, honey, this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I would be super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my reading channel in that way, Scorpio. And then finally, before we get into this reading for you, Scorpio, I just wanted to sit here and remind you that use your intuition because put it in perspective, Scorpio, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Scorpio, I promise you. I believe when it comes to my weekly readings that they're just here to give you some food for thought, perspective to consider, Scorpio, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, nobody's. Scorpio. So let's just get into your weekly reading, Scorpio. Uh, I already pulled some cards here. I'm, I'm using my OG deck <laughs> that I've had for years, honey. So um, breaking it back out for y'all, Scorpio. So I wanted to do a little bit of a different spread now in honor of just using my old deck that I've had for years, honey. Um, I kind of want to see what the journey is like. What What is your path looking like right now, Scorpio? And then we'll just get into some details with other tarot cards, but bear with me. So I pulled your starting card, your main focal point, uh, is your page of earth, Scorpio. Now I'm going to read off the card, but I don't have my glasses on you, so I got to look it back here. <laughs> this card says, good news about uh, financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, and a new area of study. Now, Scorpio, spoiler alert, or I guess a little bit of behind the scenes, honey, um, I tried to record y'all's reading several times last night, um, and this has kind of been the same theme for you, actually. You kept on having the Page of Pentacles, um, or Page of Earth in this case, because Pentacles are Earth, um, coming up for you. So, pages, what does that mean, right? Pages represent new beginnings. Uh, when you have it in regard regards to your pentacle energy. Now, I know some tarot readers will see this as a sign of like a someone extending out their pentacle to communicate, right? Maybe you're considering it. But in this case, uh, Scorpio, I'm kind of getting this sense here. Um, with this page of earth, you guys are actively trying to open up a new stream of revenue. Uh, I'm getting a new stream of revenue or let's not uh, pigeonhole it into just revenue, right, Scorpio? Let's actually say a new energy source, right? Because I always feel everything's energy. And so when you have pentacle energy, it's usually dealing with the earthly matters. So a new uh, channel of energy, it could be a new connection or an old connection if you already know them and there just hasn't been communication, Scorpio. Or, you know, it's just like a opening something up, whether it's through communication, platonic or romantic, whether it's finances, whether it's just even like a project of sorts, uh, Scorpio, you're looking to welcome in some type of consistent presence in your life that you're looking to uh, have an exchange of energy with consistently every single day. So just for simplicity's sake, though, uh, Scorpio, I'm just going to use one specific example. But uh, take the, shift the topic or the subject of it as you will. That's fitting for you because general readings, honey, you already know this feel. So pulling the clarifiers for this page of Earth, uh, Scorpio, we have coming in for you starting out uh, the Three of Air. And now this card says, great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself or other people. Swords is air, so this would be for your swords, for those that are not familiar, Scorpio. And so with this card, there is some type of pain. Now I do, this is letting me know then, of this situation here, you trying to bring in a new stream of energy coming into your life. Um, it's probably based off of some type of hurt or pain or something that you're trying to even avoid even or trying to find a way to rectify it. Regardless, I do kind of see you in this place, Scorpio, where I don't want to just say like you speak as if you guys are being like this like wounded victim because I don't see it in this way, Scorpio. I kind of see this more so in a sense of where um, it's like you took a blow and now you're just like, okay, what's next? Like, what do I need to do to shift? It's almost like 
interestingly enough, Scorpio, it's almost just like you're treating your life as like a business thing, where it's just like just keeping it as business. And um, why I can definitely relate to it on a personal level, um, because it's how I usually do my coping mechanisms as well, um, if you do that as well, Scorpio. Um, but it's something that's very dehumanizing when you think about it, Scorpio, because you're not giving justice to your own emotions and your feelings. Um, you're not allowing yourself the time to just really sit in this Three of Swords pain, right? Um, and while a lot of you Scorpios, I'm sure you're going to be like, well, Valka, why the heck would I want to just exist in this pain here? I believe, and I probably want to do like a personal video on this, Scorpio, but I believe it's important to sit in those emotions because you're going to experience that pain at some point, right? Whether you try to uh, mask it right now with a new coping mechanism, having new distractions, right, with this pages earth, or, you know, whatever. I I feel like it's important for you to experience the pain um, and to just come to terms with it. And so that's like, how do I want to put this? Because Scorpio, I don't feel like this is a bad, I feel like this is definitely um, good for you to have this energy to where you want to bring something in new. I feel like this is your answering to your calling, answering to your path. But um, this four of air comes in as well, comes in which it says time to rest or take a vacation, Scorpio. You've been getting a lot of cards talking about vacation recently. And I know, Scorpio, well, this is here. Listen here, honey. If you're not new to my reading, Scorpio, for a while now, I've been chastising some of you guys on your coping mechanisms for stress. And um, you guys got a little bit good for a while, but I kind of see this cycle coming back in, but not like too deep in. I don't see it as I see you guys kind of like you know, between yourself and honey, this message here, you know, once you just are able to acknowledge it, you'll be able to snap out of it, I feel. So especially just with how productive um, of energy you guys seem to be in. And so, yeah, I don't think I finished this card. Allow more time before making a decision and meditation may provide the answer. So Scorpio, I feel like this is where, you know, the meditation allowing more time. I feel like this is why you're getting this pause in action here, because again, Scorpio, sorry i don't feel necessary as if it's you're not doing anything wrong with this i feel like this isn't like the what you want to do but let's take a mental check here first let's before you uh start taking any action on anything let's you know just how i feel like i know <sighs> scorpio i know like no one probably comes into a tarot reading and like expecting the tarot reader to be like sit in this pain but I feel like it's important for you guys to be present, Scorpio, to really just digest some things that have happened in your life in the past few months, um, because I feel like it's almost a sense of just running on fumes. Um, and But the thing is, because of how high-functioning you, Scorpio, seem to be that tapped into my reading, um, because of how productive you guys are, um, there is this sense of... Um, like you running on fumes, like you're still going to be productive, right? You're still going to keep it going, especially when uh, you use it as your coping mechanism. You feel as if you don't have any other um, options, Scorpio. But I feel like because you're running on fumes, even when you welcome into this new energy and you bring anything new in, it's not going to get to the core of the matter and really address what it is and like why it is you're feeling this pain. I feel like you can mask it. You can... Um, try to uh, put a band-aid on certain things, but there's still a core issue that needs to be addressed. And I don't feel like you've given yourself the um, the time to really just process those feelings, Scorpio. And so now getting into your four of fire, which is your four of wands, uh, this card says contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So Scorpio, this is why I was saying I don't feel like you're doing anything wrong. Um, because the four of wands shows me you're walking towards this portal. It's the 1111 card, right? Um, so it's one of those things where it's like, you don't need to really change anything, Scorpio. Continue going down your path. But there's just like some editing that needs to happen. I don't even feel like editing. I feel like it's just more so important, Scorpio, for you to like, I guess basically what I want to say is, is like, have you taken a moment to be present with yourself, Scorpio? Have you taken a moment to stop your everyday routine of just keep trying to just make it to the next day, um, Scorpio? And have you just asked yourself, are you truly okay? How are you feeling, Scorpio? Have you truly given yourself the time right? Not just a half a day off, not just like a weekend off. Have you truly given yourself the time without like a set um, end point where it's just like, 
just being with yourself where really the only end point rather than it being a specific date um it should be about when you are feeling completely i don't want to say completely no one ever feels completely healed honey this is just reality right um, we're all broken souls <laughs> experiencing this wonderful life but i just feel like i feel like you guys need some more time to yourself um um but yeah uh really i'm sorry for that kind of message if that brings some of you guys down but i really do hope that reaches some of you scorpios because i do just get the sense that you guys are doing it's so weird to for y'all scorpio because it's like i do all the zodiac reading i do so many readings honey <laughs> every day every week and the the readings are so it's so interesting tapping into the storylines for each of the zodiac signs and with you scorpio i've become so i mean not just because i'm a libra scorpio cusp honey but i feel a personal attachment to you scorpios invested rather because it's like out of all the zodiac signs you guys have been like the most consistent storyline um throughout the months that i've been doing y'all's readings and so i know this is gonna like uh, i don't know I hope that reaches. I'm not, I'm done being weird. I'm sorry, Scorpio. So you have that going on for you, right? Now, Scorpio, let's deep dive into what you should be anticipating for this week. What is it? What are the blessings, right? Let's bring it, bring it to a lighter note. Uh, what are the blessings that Scorpio can anticipate uh, for this week? Let's see here. Also, Scorpio, how are you doing? I mean, I know you got into that heavy stuff just beforehand, but um, just let me know how you're doing. I feel like, honestly, even though I have like this attachment to Scorpios, I don't feel like I ever really express it too much. Um, I feel like I, I always I have like it's one thing. I've always had a lot of Scorpios follow me in my life. I've always had a lot of Scorpios just, yeah, in my circle. But the thing is, it's one of those things where all my Scorpios in my life that I've had throughout the years, we all have like a deep connection with one another, but we never talk about those like feelings, right? We never do like those little check-ins because we all just kind of keep it going. And so, yeah, even if you just have that moment of weakness, if you want to see it as weakness, Scorpio, where you're just all feeling all the emotions, the ashi, ashi, mushy, gushy feelings, just for a moment in this video, honey, no one, listen here, no one probably that you know is looking at my video, so you can just have that moment of release, or you can just email me. This is randomly turning into something that's not a tarot reading, honey, I'm sorry. All right, so let's talk about the blessings coming to you this week, Scorpio. Uh, don't mind me i have like a runny nose as well because of allergies honey um ugh. basically what i'm trying to say is scorpios is i'm a train wreck so if you want to be a train wreck with me what's up i don't even know what that was <laughs> there we go <laughs> that's so ridiculous all right show these cards Valka. it's a terror reading all right so the starting cards i already pulled some uh clarifiers as well but um let's start this out we have the nine of wands coming in for you so this is again affirmation this is all part of the process all part of the journey so for my scorpios that are probably feeling a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of uh especially with the seven of swords of being like am i doing the right thing am i spiraling am i uh you know it's one of those things of very much so an energy i'm feeling of where it's like some of you Scorpios probably have this feeling of uh, where it's just like, you feel like maybe like you're actually just like, I mean, let's just be blunt, right? Um, <laughs> I've had these similar feelings at times as well. Like maybe I'm alone, right? Maybe I'm just projecting, honey. But like I've had times where I'm just like, am I just actually crazy or am I actually just like really just stupid? And like the, everyone around me just doesn't want to like say something. I kind of feel like this with you. We're not necessarily stupid, right? Insert your own adjective here. Um, maybe you feel as if you're just going to, like if you continue going down this path where you keep on dealing with obstacles, um, you feel as if like you're going down something wrong that no one wants to tell you. Um, three of Pentacles here, yeah, like it's such a. I feel as if you're stressed about if you're sinking energy into the wrong thing, and some of you guys might be overthinking things and being like, if I keep going down this path, is it going to be too late? So it's almost like you kind of have your foot out the door in some type of situation. But again, I feel like it's just more so just needing that mental reset, and so clarifiers that we have going on for this uh scorpios we have the high priestess card the high priestess keeps popping up and also was a card that really popped up for you when i tried to do your reading yesterday uh we have the queen of pentacles and then we have the temperance card 
so very much so just a storyline it's just like well yes scorpio you're dealing with a lot of obstacles and i'm not trying to downplay your experiences i'm not trying to downplay your thoughts because honey honey trust and believe this channel is built off of depression darling <laughs> but um i see with this high priestess and this queen of pentacles some of you guys might be questioning your intuition you might be like am i like it's almost just like a little bit of doubt or just, I don't want to say doubt because I feel like you don't doubt your ability, but it's almost just like, uh, are you, yeah, it's just almost like, are you investing your pentacles in the wrong thing? Are you doing the wrong thing? And it's just kind of like stressing yourself out of, in the long run, are you going to be able to take care of yourself? And then the temperance card comes in. I love this card because even though I feel like a lot of people, when they receive this in my readings, they probably don't like it because it's such an eye roll of a message, but it is talking about um, having patience. Look at this card closer. You will see this individual balancing liquid in between those cups, which would be the representation of your emotions. So it's just like, I know it's mentally taxing right now. I know you're going through a lot, Scorpio, in the best way that I can, just reading some tarot cards, right? But um just keep on persevering it's that card of patience from spirit where it's just like if you just keep persevering through and keep trucking through with your nine of wands on your journey i promise you i really do get the sense that something really positive is coming up for you right your story gets better we always have to believe that right ace of cups right this is such a uh this is a card where people would say like new love this is a card of where i like to see this as like you personally your heart chakra opening up more and so i kind of see this more so in the sense of like you start opening up more with this uh, uh i must call it the libra card it is the libra card the justice card um with the page of cups i feel like if you just keep on pushing through you're going to get like your fresh start you're going to get like this rejuvenation scorpio um with this uh, page of cups here, I feel like pages, again, new opportunities. Uh, this can come in as a person or an opportunity. I'm going to just speak in the opportunity. I do feel like something's uh, ramping up for you here. It's going to bring karmic balance to you. So really, for my Scorpios that have been putting in the work and they kind of frustrated because they're not getting the results that they feel like they should be getting and the time frame that they, sh they feel like it should be in, um, have patience, right? You're definitely going to um get yours in whatever way that means for you really soon scorpio so yeah uh, <laughs> let me see here let's let's do some um we talked about the blessing now what is it that we should be looking for right i know i kind of gave you guys a little bit of a hard time scorpio not hard time um but i kind of chastised you guys and like give yourself a break what was it what is it that scorpio should be looking out for outside of that right let's look at that before we close out this reading for you all right okay let me get these cards set up all right what is it that scorpio should be looking out for this week we have the magician card we have the page of cups following you we have the Knight of Wands, and then we have the Six of Cups coming in here. So, mm -hmm. <sighs> to get this dynamic with the Magician card and the Six of Cups, don't go about doing something, Scorpio, in the way that you've always done it. I do feel like there needs to be a shift in how you approach things or a shift in how you, just like your mindset on how you will go about doing things. And I know I keep on talking about your mindset, Scorpio, but I mean, it's kind of hard for me to really tell you what you need to do or like should work on in the physical sense, just because it's like, you already are like very self-critical and very self-observant in that way for the physical things. But let's do a little check-in with your mental, right? Let's, with the Six of Cups here with the Magician card, you don't want to keep trying to create things um, from the same patterns, from the same thought process from before. You want to keep on elevating, keep on pushing yourself in ways, right? You know, it's one of those questions of where it's just like Knight of Wands with this Page of Cups of where your passion's there, right? I feel like... I feel like the skeletal frame of what it is that you're trying to do, Scorpio, is correct. It's proper, right? But the details, the minor details, the small things um, in that approach, in that skeleton, needs to be fine-tuned um, with this Page of Cups. You're trying to bring in new energy. You're trying to bring in, a, a transform your life, honey. You need to be transforming the actions that you're taking as the Knight of Wands to bring that forward to you. So... I know I said you're on your right path and you still are Scorpio. So it's like one of those things of like, uh, let me just give an example. Um, so let's say that you are an author. 
uh, Scorpio. And before you always like you were just writing books, right? And then maybe you were just getting frustrated because you weren't getting your payout, right? You weren't, no one was reading your book or whatever. And this type of dynamic Scorpio is a calling from spirit to be like, you know, maybe shift um, your scheduling when you start writing. Maybe shift the genre or the theme that you're doing, you know, all in the same vein of writing still, but um, just shifting, editing. What it is that you're doing edit it you mean you know especially even with that example of writing right if your your mindset very much so directly reflects on like your creative pursuits as well so yeah i guess i'm done with all of that um uh, scorpio thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you i hope this was helpful in some type of way um if you enjoyed this reading let me know in the comments below which cards do and how and uh give this video a like and subscribe also scorpio i do all the zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs each week so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not honey i uh, really appreciate it if you were to send my video to them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well but until next time my beautiful scorpio i love you so much